Hey, what's up? It's your boy, 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media. Boy, I seen this, and I was like, already? Trouble? <laughs> uh, you know, behind the scenes of uh, Superman and Lois? Well, we're going to dive into it and see what actually just happened. So Superman and Lois writer Nadria Tucker says she was let go after raising issues with CW series. Damn. Okay. TV writer Nadria Tucker, whose previous credits include underground and a story editor position on Sci-Fi's Krypton, made a statement today announcing that she's been let go from a very different Superman-based series, tweeting that she's been dropped from the writer's room of the CW's upcoming Superman and Lois. This kind of staffing change on a yet-to-be-released show wouldn't be terribly newsworthy except that Tucker also stated that she'd been a vocal critic of some aspects of the show with stars Tyler Hoechlin and Elizabeth Tulash extending their Arrowverse ones as the title characters stating that she'd spent the last several months flagging hashtag me too jokes and dialogue defending the Bechtel test fighting to ensure the only black faces on screen aren't villains and pushing for more female forward storylines, all of which she says was ignored with an implication that raising these issues led to her contract being dropped. You know, uh, Nadria, sounds like you've been doing a little too much. Defending the Bechtel test. Fuck out of here, man. Dude, nowadays, the black faces aren't the villains anymore, sweetie. So it sounds like you were doing a little bit too much for woke points and yeah, looks like that shit didn't add up for you. So yeah, I guess they got tired of that shit too. So I don't blame them. Let me see some personal news. Wednesday, I got word that my contract on Superman and Lois won't be extended. My service is no longer needed. My outline and drafts are par. Obviously, I disagree with that last bit. LOL. This after months of me flagging hashtag me too jokes in dialogue of me defending the Bechtel test <laughs> of me fighting to ensure only black faces on screen aren't villains of me pitching stories for female characters. There's one in the title of the series that went ignored. If I sound bitter, it's because this one stings <laughs> you know what it, it, it should you know you're trying to pitch this to us like basically you know you're the superhero in the writer's room and you were probably the biggest pain in the ass so they let you go I'm telling you trying to get woke points doesn't add up to shit in the end sweetie and you have to learn that the hard way next time keep your mouth shut you do your job and if it's something that has, you know, that pertains to you or something that's totally downright the elephant in the room, then you speak up. But if that's not the case, you're trying to uh, cause a stir for something that, don't, that, that doesn't need to be, then shit. They just had to let you go because, you, you know, you, you, you're too much drama. You're not, you're not worth it. And plus, from what it sounds like, your, uh, your work wasn't worth it either. So, shh. That's interesting. <laughs> Superman and Lois is currently scheduled for a February 2021 debut, arriving as part of the network's efforts to get things back to some semblance of normalcy after COVID blew almost its entire fall TV schedule out of the water. The series was developed by CW superhero maestro Greg Belanti. Is it? Damn, is that what y'all call Greg Belanti? Trust me, that mo he needs another title. <laughs> Working alongside The Flash's Todd Helbing, don't know who he is, who will serve as executive producer and showrunner of the show. The series sees Hoechlin and Tulas, who debuted their versions of Clark Kent and Lois Lane on Supergirl, dealing simultaneously with the problems of raising kids, working in the high stakes of superhero journalism, and fighting bad guys. Oh, please, this sounds like a load of shit. Yeah. Sounds like a load of shit. Well, 
Let me see what did um look in the comment section what was said weird considering Berlanti shows have for the most part been pretty progressive and open minded. What went wrong here? Did he finally stop caring about his three hundred and fifty six simultaneous project? Yeah, man. Ray Berlanti's whack as fuck. I can't believe you guys fucking put him back on. Fucking Green Lantern. I don't, I don't, I don't, you guys are fucking unbelievable, man. That, that fucking CW, uh, HBO Max, it's all the same shit, man. This guy, this guy fucks around and does a failed fucking Green Lantern movie. And then you guys are like, yeah, you did great. Let's, let's, let's put you on to the fucking Green Lantern TV show. Well, I tell you, if motherfuckers don't fail upwards, I don't know who does. All right, so the next person is Rob Grizzly. He says, agreed. Say what you will about Berlanti's show, and I do. But they have been good about representation, being progressive, etc. Sometimes writers are just let go. Of course, colleagues will stroke your ego and tell you you're great. But their opinions don't matter. Your bosses do. And if your bosses feel your outline and draft are worth sir par, well, I mean, that will do it. Not everything has to be a crusade. And that's true. And that's the thing. You're just, you know, you, you know, you're acting like you're on this big old fucking push for diversity and, and inclusion in the workroom. And then your ass came with it a little too strong. And they were like, get your woke ass out of here. Bop. Kick you smooth the fuck out the door. So there you have it. This is recognitions. Uh, it says here, I mean. There was the problem of one of the main showrunners being a serial sexual harasser and getting away with it for years. Well, that's true. That's true. So, I don't know, me, I think she got exactly what she deserved. You know, she wanted to push for uh, all this shit and what happened was she pushed her own self out of the fucking door. So... Do I feel bad about it? Fuck no. They probably need to get rid of everybody in the fucking writer's room. Because if, if these are the guys that supported Superman getting cucked by Supergirl, getting cucked by Lois Lane, and looking like he's just such a weak-ass fucking... The worst Superman I've ever seen, ever, is this motherfucker that we're going to watch in this... Uh, What's this? Superman and Lois or Clark and Lois? Whatever the, whatever the fuck this show is. It's whatever, man. We're about to watch the wackest fucking Superman ever. So, what's good to say about it? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> oh, shit. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this bullshit in the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed, please do. It's your boy, 24-7 with 24-7 Fusion Media, and I'm out. Oh, and before I go, if you really want to watch something that's worth watching, go watch Stargirl. The best show that CW has is Stargirl. That's right, I said it. And I'm out. Peace.